Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lightsaber. And not just any lightsaber. This lightsaber has a removable blade, so if you want to remove it, you can. Not only that, it is electronic. So you can turn on the lightsaber. As you can see, it has a red light to it. It glows better in the dark, but this is very well lit in here, so you can barely see it. Although, you can definitely see it in real life. It's just not picking it up on the camera. But yes, you can toggle it on and off from a remote switch on the inside of the Saber itself. So, I'm going to show you how to make this. And it's very simple. The only, uh, the only stuff that you really need is stuff you have laying around the house anyway. And the blade lighting up is completely optional. This is the only thing I paid for and it was a dollar. I got it at Christmas time at the Dollar Tree and thought, hey, I could use it for a project later on. Turns out, I did. So, if you'd like to follow along with me, you are more than welcome to. This is a fun project for any age and it is safe as well. So, no need for any sharp objects outside of a pair of scissors. So let's go ahead, get started. Let me show you how to make your very own custom lightsaber using stuff around your house. So the first thing you're going to need is cardboard. Cardboard is what we're gonna be making this out of, but it's not just any cardboard. We are also gonna be using a paper towel roll. Hot glue gun, you will be needing a knife or a pair of scissors. I will be using both of those. You will also be needing some clear plastic wrap, some tape, and a light source as optional. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to start by sketching out your idea. Always start by sketching. You want to sketch out all of your ideas so you know exactly what you're doing. And then you want to try to map it out to the paper towel roll because that's what we're going to be using. However, the paper towel roll, as you can see here, is very flimsy. If you were to hold this for an extended period of time, it's going to break and warp on you. So what you want to do, first you want to try to measure some cardboard and reinforce the paper towel tube. So just cut out some cardboard and we are going to roll the cardboard up. And you want to try to follow with the, uh, you want to try to follow with the lines in the cardboard so the perforation, you want to try to follow with that. It'll make it a lot easier to fold and roll your cardboard. And once you have it folded and rolled up, we are then going to measure it against the cardboard tube and cut it to length. So as you can see right here, we currently have it rolled up. I'm going to measure it around, just kind of eyeball where I think it needs to go. And I'm going to make a little mark and then I'm going to cut so it matches up good. Once we have that cut, all you need to do is add some hot glue to it. I like to do just a couple strings of hot glue. You don't need to cover the whole thing. You can go back and do some touch-ups later if you need to. I like to put one across the top and the bottom and then do an X formation around the center and that will usually hold it in place. Once you have that glue on there, just roll it up. And there you have it. Now, it's at this point that I want to give you some safety tips for with hot glue. Hot glue is extremely hot. Do not put your finger directly onto the metal tip of the hot glue gun. It will give you a burn. You also do not want to put your finger directly into the glue. Now, if you do get glue on your finger, you do not want to try to rub it off because it's going to smear everywhere and burn you even further. What you want to do if you get glue on you, you want to just leave it there until it cools down and then peel it off you will minimize the damage to yourself. So what we are doing here, we are going to make the bottom section of the lightsaber. And all I'm doing, I'm just getting some scrap pieces of cardboard. I'm going to wrap it around, glue several layers of them together. And I'm going to try to mismatch the openings. So I can very easily put a little square piece of cardboard in there later just to fill it in. So there's our first layer and I'm going to go ahead and get a second layer and as you can see right there, I'm going to bend it and place it over top of the empty section. We're going to make a new empty section on the back and like I said, it's going to be easier later to fill that in as opposed to fill it in now.
At this point, I am adding in a bottom little holder so we can hold the light whenever it goes inside of it, the little light battery pack, we can hold that in there. After the video, I go back and I cut a little place in there so I can actually put my uh, finger up inside the lightsaber and toggle the lights on and off, make it easier for me to activate and deactivate the battery switch that way. But let's continue. At this point, we're going to be making the little sections up near the top of the lightsaber. Same thing as before, we are just taking small pieces of cardboard, wrapping it around the lightsaber, and alternating the empty patches so we can fill it in later. Once we have that done, I'm going to go through, cut off some smaller pieces, and I'm going to add in a little bit of details around the top of the lightsaber. Now these pieces, when the glue is still hot, you can move them around, relocate uh, them if needed, if you put them in the wrong place. So if you do get them in the wrong place or get them kind of catty cornered, you can remove them and put them back as long as the glue is still uh, warm. At this point, we are still working on the tip of the lightsaber. We are almost done with it. Adding in those little details around the top. And then finally, we are going to make the shield for the blade itself. Now, again, if you want to make this lightsaber completely different, that is up to you. You do not have to follow along with this video exactly. If you want to make your own custom lightsaber, or if you would like to replicate a lightsaber from one of the movies, you are more than welcome to do that. This is just an example of how I am going to be making this custom lightsaber. So right now we're going to be working on the light source and as you can see right here the flashlight will line up perfectly inside of the lightsaber if you want. Mine has an extra attachment on it because the light came from something else but I did not choose to use a flashlight. If you want to use a flashlight you can. As I said I used some LED lights that I picked up from the dollar store and we tested it out it went inside the lightsaber perfectly fine. Now for the blade, you are going to want to have something as a base. What I chose was a vacuum hose. Now whenever you do use a base, please know that you are probably going to be damaging the base in the process because you're going to have to wrap it in some kind of a clear plastic wrap, usually, you know, clear plastic wrap that you have for baking purposes and things like that. I had a kind of press and seal which will work perfectly fine. And then once you have that, you're going to wrap the tube in tape. And the tape is going to act as a way to keep it rigid and solid, while the underlying plastic is going to act for a way for the tape to grip onto the plastic instead of the mold itself. Now, once you have the tape and the plastic on there, what you need to do is cut off the uh, tape and plastic from the base. That way you're left with a clear cylinder that you can then put your lights into, as you can see right here. Now if your uh, base is wrapped very tightly, you're going to have to have a knife to cut it 
to cut the sheathing off at which point you might actually damage the base so yes use something that you're not going to miss in fact if you really want to go the extra mile you could just roll up some newspaper and use that as your base and just remove all the newspaper out whenever you get done so once you have the sheath cut you have the lights inside of it make sure you secure the lights with either hot glue or tape and then you can close up the sheath again that way you can have a solid blade. Once you have it taped up, then you want to wrap it in tape one more time to make sure it's solid. And then you can test out your lights. And as you can see here, the lights glow and it looks like a lightsaber blade. Very simple, easy to do, and really cheap. Once you have that, you can assemble your lightsaber. The first time the blade goes into the sheath it's going to be a little bit snug but you can adjust it as needed as you can see looks like a lightsaber we can turn on the lights And there you have the light effect. At this point, you can leave the lightsaber like cardboard if you want. I actually go off screen and I paint the lightsaber, I paint the cardboard on it with silver and black spray paint. And then I come back and add in some details. So yes, right now I'm going to go off screen, paint with some spray paint. And if you uh, don't have any spray paint, you can ask your parents to go to the hardware store pick up some spray paint for you you will need to have your parents to do that because you have to be over a certain age to buy spray paint so yes if you do have some spray paint laying around you can do that or you can just hand paint it it's perfectly fine to do that it's just cardboard so yeah that's what i do i go in i spray paint it and then i add in some other little details with the paint One of the final touches that I add to the lightsaber is I wanted to add in a jewel so it looked like that there, the lightsaber had a button that you could turn on. So I just had a, a bunch of these little f uh, flat, I think they're, they go inside of fish tanks and they're just little glass beads that are flat on one side. And all I did, just add a little bit of hot glue on the back side of it and then put it on the lightsaber. And that's pretty much it. And that is how you make your very own lightsaber out of cardboard. And this is good for any age as long as you are able to use a hot glue gun. Something I did not mention but is very important is if you are not familiar with using a box cutter or a knife you never want to cut towards you you never want to cut towards your hand you always want to cut away from you and make sure your fingers are well out of the path of the blade thank you all very much i hope that you have had a great time watching this video if you have any questions for me please let me know and until next time have a great wonderful rest of your day